When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video I'm obviously doing my morning routine as you guys can tell from the title. It is currently coming up to 7.30 in the morning, have my cup of coffee here. As you guys just saw I made my coffee and I also made Aiden a tea and a bagel to go to work with and yeah he's now gone, sent him on his way and I've come to get back in bed. I pretty much do this every single morning and I, I feel like I probably shouldn't but especially recently I've just been so tired when I wake up in the morning like my eyes hurt like they sting so yeah I'm just gonna chill I think for like half an hour and then start to get up and start getting ready for the day I want to do a good workout the weather today is immaculate like I don't see a cloud in the sky I mean let's actually check the weather report I mean not that I have to do anything today well go out anywhere today it literally says like sunny and cloudy in the afternoon I think I might finish watching an Ellen and Neil video because I started one yesterday morning and I didn't get to finish it I just got a text from Decathlon because I've got a parcel coming between 2.30 and 3.30 perfect I have 20 minutes left of this which probably takes us up to a nice time catch up with you guys in a bit not gonna lie might have just got a little bit distracted on TikTok, but that is okay. We are now. Oh, dressing gown's not in here. BRB. We are back. This dressing gown is from Lounge. It is so nice and cozy. It's a slightly longer one because all the dressing gowns I've had since I was like 18 have been short. And I just wanted, you know, a classy long dressing gown. So my mum got me this one for my birthday and I love it. Um, but anyway, got a little bit distracted on TikTok. That wasn't the plan for the day, but here we are. But I'm about to get into the shower, brush my teeth. I also have fake hand, and I don't know if it's even picking up, but I am missing a patch of tan. And um, that always makes me laugh because it means that my boyfriend is currently at work in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt with patches of fake tan on him. But anyway, fashion statement. So we are obviously now out of the shower, ready to do a little bit of skincare, got my pink bow on to keep my hair back. But I've been thinking recently, like how a reflection of lockdown and I really got into skincare through lockdown. I think it's because obviously we weren't wearing that much makeup and I was actually thinking this morning my skin feels really soft. So I'm going to talk you guys through my skincare routine. I always get so many questions about it and I mean... I am very blessed with my skin, like I don't suffer from spots, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys from my skincare routine. However, firstly, we have a Look Fantastic haul, cool. shout out to them because they are sponsoring this section of this video. You guys know I've been working with Look Fantastic for a few months now and they've been really, you know, providing the goods, keeping my skin looking glowy and yeah, I honestly love them. I have got a discount code for you all, so I shall leave it on screen now. So, the first thing I picked up was, of course, from Liz L. I absolutely love their products. You guys will see that in a second. So the moisturizer I picked up is the Skin Repair Rich Cream. Best moisturizer ever, especially if you have dry skin. I then picked up for a change some eyebrow tint. So this is from I Isla, I wanna call it. I got it in the shade Dark Brown. I do have it on now. I've had it on for about a week and it doesn't really tint your skin as much. It just mainly does like the actual hairs. But I actually love it. Picked up my favourite, you guys know, Rapid Lash. I friggin' love this stuff. Like, honestly, don't think I've ever loved anything more in my life. If you suffer, I say suffer, if you guys have short lashes that you want to grow, then try this out. And then a bit random, not skincare related whatsoever or face related, got some nail varnish remover. This one's actually 100 millilitres, so if you want to take this on holiday, you can. Um, it's just by Qtex, it's the non-acetone nail varnish remover. And finally, something that you guys probably know by now that I like to try out is different eye creams. We all know I suffer with dark circles and I kind of just try to find things that work. I haven't actually tried this one yet. So we shall give this Origins one a go today. It's the Eye Doctor Moisture Care. I will obviously be leaving links to everything that I picked up from Look Fantastic down below in the description box if you guys want to go check them out. Also, don't forget to use my code if you want to save some coin. 
And uh, yeah, shout out to Look Fantastic for sponsoring this section of the video. However, I'm about to show you guys my skincare routine, which all the products are from Look Fantastic. So, starting off with the Cleanse and Polish from Liz L. I pretty much use this night and day, every day, because I just love it so much. This headband really isn't keeping my hair back very well though, is it? I'm now going to take the Instant Boost Skin Tonic from Liz L. I'm kind of annoyed because all of my reusable cotton pads are in the wash, so I'm going to have to use normal ones. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, my hands and my face are two different colours, but it'll be okay when we get makeup on my face. Okay, we're going to try this new Origins eye cream and see how we get on with it. It smells like cucumbers and like aloe vera and stuff. It smells great. And now obviously I'm just putting on my Liz L moisturizer. And then finally, I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows. I put the rapid lash on at night. I never really put it on during the day, just in case you were wondering. Skincare is done, literally one, two, three, four steps. And we're done. so stupid i couldn't find my phone and i was like oh my apple watch will like ping it so i got my apple watch off my wireless charger i have like a it's all like all in one phone apple watch and airpods yeah so i started pinging my phone <laughs> came downstairs wasn't down here went back upstairs could hear it it was on the wireless charger and i picked my apple watch up from the same place and i just totally missed it but anyway i'm currently having breakfast as you guys can tell and you probably guessed it right we're having chocolate porridge i need to add a little bit more milk in this because it's gone a little bit hard after my foam palava i'm also filming a white in a day for real so that's why i had to find my phone decided that i should get my breakfast outside you know it's such a nice day currently just warming up the gym but we've got some of like our garden furniture cushions in here so I might just like grab one, just to shove in the chair. Hopefully there's no spiders on them. Spider? We look all good, we're good to go. So guys, we are now about to do a workout. Yeah. As lovely as it is to have this gym, it's a little bit like dark and dingy. Obviously I don't have any equipment here that I personally use. All I have is this little four and a half kilogram weight that I use every now and then. A yoga mat and a weighted hula hoop, like that's all I use here. So I've been really considering getting a gym membership. So I don't think I'll get one yet because obviously we're gonna be moving house soon. So I'm just gonna take off this top because I'm about to get really hot. Um, but yeah, I've been really thinking about going to the gyms. If anyone knows any good gyms in Kent, then let me know. I kind of, I don't know if I want to go to like a pure gym, only because they're just a bit busy, aren't they? My gym outfit of the day, as usual, is all black. I have on this Gymshark sports bra that I haven't worn in literally like the longest time. Kind of forgot how much I loved Gymshark. I do have a few other bits from them, so I'm definitely going to start wearing them some more. I then have on my Fabletics leggings these are my favorite leggings ever again love fabletics great quality and finally i never wear any trainers when i work out obviously if i go to a gym i'm gonna have to start wearing trainers but for now if i work out at home i have these block socks they're like a dance brand and i have to wear these at dance obviously because of like covid and yeah they have like grip on them they're very supportive so yeah i just wear these when i work out but Let's do a workout. We're about to get sweaty. We're going to do a 30 minute hit and feel great after. I'm going to try and give it like 110% the whole way through. Like it's only half an hour. We should be okay. I can be good or be not in. Workout. 
half an hour, all done. I'm very sweaty now. <laughs> it's so annoying because I had to shower this morning because obviously I had tan on and when you, if anyone else has worked out the tan, it, you sweat brown, it's disgusting. But yeah, it was a really good workout. I haven't done a workout like that in so long. It didn't burn as many calories as what I wanted, but I don't know, I guess having an Apple Watch is like good and bad because it makes you track like the calories that you burn and it's not really about that, do you know what I mean? Like, I like to work out because it makes me feel good, like not as in I want to change my body, I mean. I would like to lose a little bit of weight for being brutally honest because quarantine gained a few, that's okay. I want to start wearing my Apple Watch again because this time last year I used to wear it all the time. And it was just really good for keeping me active. Otherwise, with my job, obviously, where I'm sat at home all day, like I can just sit down all day and do like 200 steps, which is not good. Um, but yeah, I think if you have an Apple Watch, it's just about maintaining a healthy relationship with it, which I know sounds probably a little bit weird for some, but um, I know a lot of people can relate. So I'm gonna go wash my hair now, I think, because it definitely needs a wash. And then we should get ready for the day. Always tied up after yourselves in the gym, guys even if it is your home gym. I actually want to order some new gym clothes. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but I might go jump on Gymshark and order some bits of maybe Fabletics as well because I just love this. And I feel like the key to working out is feeling good about yourself and feeling confident and gym clothes, cute gym clothes do that. As you guys can tell, just washed my hair. There is a lot going on. And we are about to get ready for the day, for a day of filming and feeling good in the sun. And we are about to style my hair now. We have this bad boy. So I have a Dyson Airwrap now. How exciting. I got it a week ago and I've only used it twice. I haven't been able to give it a full test. So I think I'm going to obviously dry my hair a little bit. And I think I'm actually... So I obviously got like the full set for long hair. And I've been using... Well, the two times that I've tried it, I've used the thicker barrels. But I think I'm actually going to use the thinner barrels and like pin the curls. I've just let my hair cool down. This is what it looks like straight out the clips, which is a lot. <laughs> is a lot. Brush out the curls. I obviously did hairspray them. I'll probably give them another hairspray once I'm done. I feel like that one's mm, no, it's all right actually. This is bouncy. Well, oh, I'm a massive fan of this Dyson Airwrap. I feel like this is the first time that I have actually taken my time with it. No, I'm just doing it really quickly because I'm just so excited. But, oh my goodness gracious me. I'm going to go do my makeup. You guys have seen me do my makeup enough times. It's so boring, so basic and really nothing exciting. So, I'm now ready for the day. I'm actually obsessed with my hair, you guys. Like... I love it. I feel like this front piece has just lost it a little bit, but that is okay. Quick OOTD. I love this cupboard. So it's from Lipsy. I think my mum got it for my birthday and it's from Next, but obviously brand is Lipsy. So it's basically, how can I show you guys properly? I don't have a proper mirror. It's a wide leg cupboard and yeah, absolutely love it. Nice and thin for the sunny weather. I got on my slippers. It's just here. But yeah, as I said, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you want to see any other videos from me, then subscribe. And yeah, I shall see you all very soon with a new one. Bye.